house of love. So for me, a big hand. When I do, you know, you love me a big hand. Sierra Leone has launched an ambitious drive to increase uptake of COVID-19 vaccine in the country. This campaign is designed to counter the effect of vaccine hesitancy and apathy thanks to fake news, which has caused many Sierra Leoneans to reject the jobs. Like many African countries, Sierra Leone started vaccination against the viral pandemic in March 2021. Figures from the National COVID-19 Emergency Response Center show that less than 3% of the eligible population has received at least one dose of a vaccine since then. The accelerated COVID-19 vaccination campaign, launched on Saturday, September 25, in the fishing community of Tombo, is being championed by the Sierra Leonean NGO Focus 1000, with support from the Africa CDC, which is seeking to raise the continent's coverage of COVID-19 vaccination. Focus 1000 is collaborating with the Ministry of Health and Sanitation to achieve this daunting task, which also involves the technical input of the Addis Ababa-based Africa Epidemiology Network. We are working in tandem with all the stakeholders to make sure that we accelerate the vaccination of people, you know, especially between the ages of 18 years and above. We want them to be fully vaccinated so that they can be protected against you know, COVID-19. Mohamed Bailo Jallo and his team at Focus 1000 are in no illusion about the task at hand. But the CEO of the NGO is sure of success, as they have traded this part before. The days of Ebola, Focus 1000 played a major role in convincing people to take Maclet and save your life. I have also taken the vaccination. I am alive. I've got my children to go forward and take it. My family members, I've encouraged all of them to take it. The head of state has taken the vaccination. The vice president, the ministers, Nakovacci, you know, key people in the ministry, you know, important people have taken it. So what more evidence are we waiting for? We, we really just want to raise awareness about the importance of the vaccination, about the safety of the vaccination, and to encourage people to go forward. That is why it's not only the normal talking about vaccination. No, we've also organized with the Ministry of Health vaccination teams out there. We have over 100 teams all over the country. So that when we talk about the awareness, when it is raised, we create the demand, they will go and make sure the vaccination is available. So that's why we came here. We did not only talk, but we also got vaccination going on. And we had very important people, like Sheikh Ramadan Jalo, who is a distinguished religious leader, also taking the vaccination. That shows that it is safe, it's accepted by Islam, it's accepted by Christianity. I mean, it's a safe vaccine, it makes sense for you to go forward and be vaccinated because that is the only way to save yourself and save your loved ones against COVID-19. A key element of this campaign is the involvement of a group of grassroots organizations which has made a name for itself in the art of community mobilization, the Qumran Network. It comprises religious scholars who refer to the scriptures of the two dominant faiths in the country, Christianity and Islam to appeal to the masses in promoting recommended health-seeking behaviors. The Comrade Network also includes traditional healers, an association representing market women, journalists, and mainstream civil society activists. Kumbra, normally we all, in the past we all prefer to say the Kumbra and Agama mean no more what is in the king. We do not say the actual Kumbra mean anybody will care for somebody. That same caring. Whether mommy gets for in Pekin, that care in the, now we all forget. Now you get as a daddy, now also the chief gets, now the president gets, now all the ministers and all the stakeholders, and they all as far as we concern, the all are Kumbra. Kumbra means for care for somebody, then other for care for person with which the one we make, the not a man. The God we make we, now the number one Kumbra, because he care for we. He creates we, give you this life, Anyone for them will give this life. And that make it provide for we all of the instruments go for use for tackle all the challenges that we meet we in our life. And alhamdulillah, the instruments are so powerful and so rich inside the scriptures. So. This Kumbra network, the network will bring come the people who say really matter as far as engaging with community, communities in concern. Religious leaders then take the lead. The, and Muslims them and also the Christians them 
We join them for develop messages them so that their messages they are so they will come directly from God Almighty. We don't talk to me inside the Quran in a way we be to see all the people understand say this and God Almighty Allah and I talk up. Their messages they are now we believe for. We come run and talk to believe in the power of their messages they are. Where we extract from the scriptures them, both from the Quran and the Bible, below every for the rich people them wherever they be. It's so wonderful for some of you, even as scholars them after we don't go come. We focus on thousand bring we come together. Then they give you messages they welcome home from the world body people and they tell you say when I find Quranic verses, when I find biblical verses that we support the world, when they extract them, when they see the fittingness within inside it, and they make every sense of the wonderful. Honestly, look at this issue with the pursue right now. This vaccine with the pursue. When you look at them, what in and the essence of it? I'm a simple time of life. I know what you call my tell I talk about that. One man tell me in the Quran say, Woman Ahiaha, Paka and Nam Ahia Nasa to me. Anybody will contribute for save one real life, they go pay them, they go the world like see the whole of mankind, the whole world. According to data from the World Health Organization, of the more than 5.8 billion COVID-19 vaccine doses administered globally, only 2% have been given to Africa. As of September 23rd, 8.1 million cases of the virus had been recorded on the continent, data from the Africa CDC shows. Last week, the WHO Regional Office for Africa warned that while the third wave of the pandemic in the region was subsiding, the fight against the virus was far from over. Vaccination, it stressed, was the only way out. Some countries, according to the global health body, are already in the fourth wave. Sierra Leone is ranked among African nations with the least number of vaccinated people. Besides hesitancy, which continues to be fueled largely by fake news spread via social media, until recently, another contributing factor to this situation has been shortage of the jobs. But officials say that there is enough jobs in the country now to vaccinate a substantial portion of the population in the next few months after donations from China, the US, and through the COVAX facility. This campaign, which will run for one month, aims to vaccinate at least 80,000 people. Some 100 teams of vaccinators have been deployed across the 16 districts of the country. Each district has a mobile team which will move out into hard-to-reach communities to make the vaccines accessible to the people. The health ministry is providing technical support through 200 healthcare workers. Deputy Minister of Health Dr. Amara Jambai says the approach is in line with the government's new strategy in collaborating with partners with the expertise to mobilize the communities to accept the vaccines. They seek some people, then they get them, then they well, they don't know, sir. But then they pass the sick to somebody else where the whole system weaker. In so doing, the chance for say that person will die, he will die. We need to spread the message, and that is why this sort of strategy will not come up with partnership. We know, say, in the Ministry of Health, we, as the Ministry, we need to We need partner with people there, master savvy people there, where savvy enter community through leadership, through, through uh, uh, religious leadership. During Saturday's launch, scores of people turned up for their first job. A demonstration of the vibrancy of the Kumra network, whose members went out into the community of Tumbo and mobilized unvaccinated people. Among them was commercial motorbike rider Lutin Idris Abendu. When I the vaccine, I don't can take so now. I feel bright, I feel okay, I don't feel any other way would for say at least we able to discourage me, we able to quell me at well I will tell me brother or my sister or my daddy me uncle self for making no cancer can. But as I don't can't take so any can we miss self, I really, really happy, I appreciate. So do this not come by anything, nothing but anything. Right now, we are it. this now free opportunity to run get so. We all, we all not see alone and there. If we don't can get this chance, I talk to una all my Sigalion brothers and sisters there. My mama and my papa, they let us all go come. Any side with this chance, I mean, to make it possible, let go take this vaccine. We are let anybody know, fear, let anybody know, afraid. If you don't be the if you don't be the get any news outside, people and the way they pass on wrong information.